All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to collect a bee crop sample. So we've got our soil core here in a bucket. You also need some clean bags and a little shovel helps to mix up your, your soil sample. So what we need to do is we recommend zone sampling at Biomakers. So you're gonna find a management zone and a management zone is defined by an area that has the same crop and same management practices. So we're running through here with our soil core and for every one sample that you send to the lab, it should be made up of at least three to 12 composites, three to 12 cores coming out of the ground in that management zone into a bucket. We're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna pull one sample from that composite of multiple cores so we get a representation of the whole management zone. Let's do it. So we're gonna start here. We're in an almond orchard today, and we're going to find an area that's close to the tree within the irrigation line. Uh, this is where we're gonna have the microbial activity interacting with the trees, and that's where we wanna sample. If you're in a row crop system, then you wanna be you know, within a six to 12 inch radius around the, the corn, for example. Um, but today we're in almonds, so we just need to be within the root zone, which the root zone in almonds is, is pretty big. Find an area here that we can get into the ground. We're gonna go down about six inches or 10 to 15 centimeters. brush away some of this top part here. Uh, we don't want too much plant matter here and we're just gonna pull out the core and then dump it into our bucket. And then we're gonna do that three more times. And you can do as many as, you know, 12 cores. The more cores you get, the more representation you have of the whole area. So, at your discretion, but we definitely need at least three cores. Okay, so now we have a composite of three different cores to pull out one sample. We're gonna use a clean utensil and we're going to mix it up homogenize it and then we're going to take a subsample from this composite into a bag if you're just running a bee crop test which is just our our microbial analysis you don't need much just about a half a cup if you're running a fertility analysis then we do want some more soil so we'll take about two cups Seal this up. We do like to use a plastic bag so you can keep the soil in soil condition for shipping, keep the moisture in there, keep the biology happy. And then we're gonna take this back to the truck and pull out our subsample for uh, the biology tubes. So this is one composite sample throughout this management zone.